Prince Harry and Prince William received groveling apology from BBC over Diana interview. The BBC has written to Prince William and Prince Harry to apologize for the circumstances surrounding Princess Diana's Panorama interview. The broadcaster has also sent apologies to Prince Charles and Diana's brother Earl Spencer, it is understood. It comes after an official inquiry by Lord Dyson concluded that the BBC covered up a deceitful behavior journalist Martin Basher used to land the bombshell interview with Diana in 1995, and fell short of high standards of integrity and transparency. Basher was in serious breach of the BBC's producer guidelines when he faked bank statements and showed them to Earl Spencer to gain access to Diana, the report said. The corporation has also returned the awards it received for the explosive interview. Basher won a BAFTA in 1996 for his world exclusive. The BBC said in a statement. The 1995 Panorama interview received a number of awards at the time. We do not believe it is acceptable to retain these awards, because of how the interview was obtained. Lord Dyson, former Master of the Rolls and Head of Civil Justice, was appointed to look into the circumstances surrounding the explosive interview which sent shockwaves through the royal family. Basher commissioned documents purporting to show payments into the bank account of Alan Waller. A former employee of Earl Spencer, Commander Patrick Jefferson, Diana's private secretary, and Commander Richard Aylard, private secretary to the Prince of Wales, according to Lord Dyson. The report said, by showing Earl Spencer the fake Waller and Jefferson slash Aylard statements and informing him of their contents, Mr. Basher deceived and induced him to arrange a meeting with Princess Diana. By gaining access to Princess Diana in this way, Mr. Basher was able to persuade her to agree to give the interview. An internal investigation by the BBC into the matter in 1996 was woefully ineffective, it added. The report found the BBC inquiry did not scrutinize Mr. Basher's account with a necessary degree of skepticism and caution, despite the fact he had lied three times when he said that he had not shown the fake statements to Earl Spencer. It said Basher had lied when he said he had not shown the documents to anyone, when he had in fact shown them to Earl Spencer and he repeated this lie two more times.